be a half hour break and we're going to go 11.30 to 1, okay? Um, I want to get to a little bit of this head outside stand. I need a little bit of space. Now, we're getting there. Still, still people are messing this up a little bit. That's okay. we got to keep moving. i got guys that are like this. This is not a head outside single. It's a head inside single, right? i got guys that are like this. Your forehead's in his chest. This is half head inside, half head outside. It's half ASS. All right? Let me hear Pressure. When I hit it, okay? Couple things. This kind of goes unspoken, but as I hit this shot here, I want to hit it with my shoulder. My shoulder. I want to hit my shoulder right here in his hip. I'm not just, I'm going towards the leg, but I'm also pulling the leg to me. My right hand pulls as my body goes forward. Two things are happening once. I'm doing this here with my right arm as my body goes into it. Okay? Same time, my trailer leg steps up, I move into him. So as I penetrate here, this arm's pulling, as my shoulder goes forward. Except I go into it. I notice. And I pressure it. I pressure my shoulder across his body, ear and his ribs. I gotta get weight. I'm trying to get weight through this. Go to that foot. I'm trying to get weight. Go to his left foot here. If I get that happen, that's a good thing. Now, most important finish right here. I say this every time I do a camp, and kids, they dial me out, they tune me out, they get them out of touch with you guys. I don't know. Okay. Here's what happens. We do a head outside single dump. In my book, this is what separates the great guy from the average guy. Let's be honest here. There's a lot of average people in this sport of wrestling in the world. You guys are here on Friday morning because you don't want to be average, right? We want to do something special. The average wrestler trains hard, gets in good shape, he competes hard. The average wrestler does this. The above average wrestler does that plus more, right? Is able to, to do something on the mat that's different. Is able to reach some kind of level with their intensity and their focus that's different from the average guy. The average guy can go forward, 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 forward. I've been kind of making this point all day. The, the, the great guy is able to change directions, be able to flow in between techniques. I, don't, I want you guys to be able to change levels, change directions, and no matter what this guy does, we're going to have an opportunity. This finish is direct, I guess, the, the direct output of that. All right? This is the visual sign that you can change levels and change directions. So what's going to happen is I'm going to hit a head outside saying, well, I'm going to go into Ryan here. And I go into Ryan. Ryan's going to put bash, push back on me. What you guys, most guys do in a real match is I push into him. He pushes back on me. You keep trying to drop. All right, instead of feeling what he's giving you as he's pushing back in on you, instead of me driving against his force, I use his force and I'm going to take him down on the mat. Okay? Now, a lot of people know the technique in wrestling. What, what a lot of people can't do is make a fluid transition from an into a motion to a circle back motion, and that's what's going to make you guys successful. Okay? Um, this isn't about moves. I, I always tell people I hate the word wrestling move. When you guys practice, Moves, you think in three second segments. Try and move, stop. Do another move, stop. Try and move, stop. And your wrestling looks like this. Three second segmented things. I can tell in your drill you already have some of that in you. All right, that's, that's the nature of wrestling. We need to counteract that. I want your wrestling to be motion. Continuous motion, okay? A continuous movement. It doesn't matter what moves are. It's what motions I can continuously flow between, okay? This is the epitome of that. I hit a head outside single. Here, I go into him. Hey, bottom line, I want a head outside single, which I do. I gotta beat this arm. We already talked about this, but I'm making this illustration. My head has to get underneath this arm. That's a fact. That is a fact. All right. My head has to get underneath this arm. Okay. Um, that being said, get a feeling. Get a feeling for doing this. All right. That's a feeling of confidence that comes when you've done it a thousand times. You start to look for this. You zone in. You zone in. Can I get get my head underneath that arm? Now, I go into him here. I go into Ryan hard. Now he pushes back into me. There's pressure on me now. This weight, this pressure that's on me, I don't fight it. I don't fight it. I use it. Okay? So as he pressures into me, now I'm going to change my direction. I'll break it down for you by steps, but it's just circling back. I take a small step with my inside foot. It's my right foot. Small step with my inside foot. Big step backwards with my outside foot, my left foot, and I'm going to squat and snap like a high in football. Small step, big step, squat, snap. I let him fall first. He falls first, he bellies down, and then I come. 
All right? That happens as soon as I drive up, as soon as he pressures back into me. So I shoot my head outside single here. I go into him. He pushes back into me. Why? He doesn't want me to be able to reach across to drive him over. So he's pushing off his left foot and the weight's going towards his right foot here. Okay? Once I feel that pressure, I take a small step in. I take a big step back. I squat and snap. And I let him fall first. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go into him. And you're going to pause. And that pause is what costs you a real match. I can't pause. I go into him. I don't stop moving. I circle back and I'm done. It doesn't mean it has to be fast. Watch, I'll go super slow here. But it's going to be one fluid motion. I shoot a head out to this thing. I go into him. Small step, big step. Hike the football. I let him fall first. Don't fall with him. Some of you guys aren't going to move your feet. And you're going to like whip him. You can fall like this. Step back here and pivot on this foot. As this foot steps in, notice I'm allowing myself the ability to go in a circle. And I pivot. If he doesn't fall down, don't panic. That's normal. It's going to lead us to our next reaction. Defensive guy, if you're standing here like this, Ryan's going to push in. And then he tries to dunk. And that is this. It's going to not give him a reaction. He, I didn't hold down a dunk not because he didn't do it, right? He's not even doing the defensive posture. I can do like this. This guy, this guy dunks down, so I'm pushing in. Exactly. Then I fall in. Fall in. Defensive guy, give him a defensive posture. You with me? Let's do it. One, two, three. We got a hustle, guys. 